McPhail. I'm in the lobby of Walt Disney Imagineering in Glendale, California. Now, I know that doesn't mean much to some of you, but I can bet that most of you have experienced the magic of this place in one way or another. What is Imagineering? Well, from what I can gather, Imagineering is the master planning and design arm of the Walt Disney Company. They're the ones who create all of the attractions that you'll find at Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Tokyo Disneyland, and the soon-to-be-built Euro Disneyland in France. Well, that's about all I know about this place. But they tell me if I push this button right over here, I'll get a better idea. Walt Disney Imagineering is the coming together of creative ideas and the technology to crystallize them into reality. Engineers, architects, artists, and designers all work together using the tools of imagination to create the Disney-themed experience. Walt Disney set up Imagineering in 1952 to design a revolutionary concept in outdoor entertainment, Disneyland. Walt brought in art directors and designers from his studios to create the world's first theme park. It is here the world-famous attractions such as It's a Small World and the Pirates of the Caribbean nestle into various themed lands. Today, Disney Imagineers continue to pioneer unique and exciting entertainment experiences throughout the world. So as you can see, this place is just busting at the seams with new ideas and activities. Now, I'm supposed to be getting a tour of this place in about 10 minutes, but I don't think I can wait for it. Hi, I'm Craig Wilson, Walt Disney Imagineering. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Marty McPhail with the Disney Channel. I think you were supposed to give me a tour of this place. Yeah, well, I probably missed you in the lobby. Oh, yeah. You must have missed me in the lobby. Uh -huh. Ready for your tour, Marty? Let's go. Well, let's go. What is this room here? Marty, this is one of our two sculpture studios. All of our characters in our theme shows begin here, whether it's a, a human form from the Hall of the Presidents, a pirate, or an animal, or one of our animated characters. And if you look around the room, you might recognize some familiar characters from some of our animated shows. Fascinating. I can't believe this. Hey, Marty, come on. We've got a lot more to see. Okay. Let's go. Excuse us, Mr. President. Marty, this is Splash Mountain. Yeah. We're building this right now at Disneyland. When it opens, it'll be the largest log flume ride in the world. The largest? Mm-hmm. Well, how big is it going to be? Well, it's about a 10-minute ride. There's 103 animated characters. It's all based on the Song of the South characters, Rare Bear, Rare right. Rabbit, Uncle Remus, and all that. And so this is a whole musical adventure. This last drop here is almost six stories high that you'll drop down. And then when, when it's finished, this will be the fastest ride in the park. How fast? We don't know yet. Maybe 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an but, hour? But don't quote me. No, no. no. Okay, I won't. This is the Walt Disney World Shopping Village in Florida. And right next to it here on this island, we found an old manufacturing district that used to make giant sails for sailing ships. Right. And we're turning all those buildings into Pleasure Island. There will be six nightclubs, several new restaurants, and a whole bunch of shops. It's mostly a nighttime activity with entertainment, a comedy warehouse, an adventures club, a roller rink, a big <laughs> dance theater, all kinds of things for people to do at night. And that's in Florida? It's in Florida at the Shopping Village at Disney World. That sounds incredible. That's fun. That opens next summer. Marty, behind here we've got our Disney MGM studios that we're building down in Florida, but I can't show it to you right now. We're still kind of uh, developing it, and you'll understand. Come on, let's go over here. Marty, you're not supposed to be back here. No, I can get in a lot of trouble for showing you this. No, I can't let you see any of this. Come on, Marty, really, come on, let's go over here. This is Typhoon Lagoon at Walt Disney World. It's the largest water park in the world. And right here is a giant wave machine. In fact, it'll be the biggest wave pool in the world. 
there's slides and lazy river and there's an actual salt water coral lagoon that you can swim through there'll be fish and live sharks that you can swim around with <laughs> that's amazing the whole idea was that this giant typhoon he ripped through central florida and left and left behind. this big wave pool and uncovered this uh, spring from far away that creates these waves and all this water gushing from this big mountain and that's in florida as well down in disney world well that was a lot of fun i like seeing epcot center and everything else thank you for the cook's tour oh you wanted the cook's tour well that's in the commissary come on i think they're having a duck today or is it um all right i'll i'll catch up to you bye-bye bye-bye bye -bye. We are going to be dropping in on Imagineering a lot more in the future. There's just so much happening here that it's impossible to cover it all at once. Now, we didn't even get a chance to talk about Tokyo Disneyland, Euro Disneyland, and the Disney MGM Studios. In the future, we will be bringing you highlights and updates in much greater detail about the people and the process and the magic that's created here at Imagineering. Now, where did Craig go to find my way out of here? Craig? Next, thrill to the escapades of that mass doer of good deeds, Zorro, followed by the missing adventures of Ozzie and Harry. Then after a crippling auto accident, Judd Hirsch must teach a young woman how to live again in first steps. It's all coming up tonight on the Disney Channel. She's a hopeless romantic looking for Mr. Wright. But the only guys she seems to meet are always Mr. Wrong. What do you think this is, a picnic? Now everyone's praying for a miracle. Any luck? There's not a soldier in sight. Until now. It's a miracle. A dog-blasted genuine miracle. Guess who's coming to dinner? We found one! John Hodiak and Ann Baxter star in an old-fashioned boy-meets-girl love story. A Sunday dinner for a soldier.